when creating a container in Autodesk Inventor, one of the first things I want to do is start off with my stock material. I'm going to start it on the XY plane up here in the positive positive quadrant on the right hand corner. I want to make sure that this is locked onto the origin so when I take this into my CAM software, the front top corner is going to automatically be my part reference zero. I'll draw my rectangle and try to decide how wide and how deep I want my block to be. For this example, we'll do a 3 inch by 3 inch block. I'm going to develop this up in a whole bunch of really simple steps, so I'm going to break this up into just the stock by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and finish sketch, and I'm going to extrude it. Since this bottom corner right now is where I want my PRZ to be, I'm going to extrude this into the negative direction. And it just happens to be that the stock that I'm going to use is two inches thick. Now I've got my entire stock, and I'm going to start whittling this away to try to create the block. One of the first things I'm going to do now that I have my stock is create an offset boundary around the outside. I like to do this so I don't have to be so accurate when I'm trying to create my rough stock. I'm going to create a boundary right now of an eighth of an inch all the way around. That's going to be some kind of safety boundary that I can try to keep my shape within. What your shape looks like inside this part is really kind of up to you. If I wanted just a square box, then this part would be good enough. If I wanted some kind of other shape, then we'll go from there. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and extrude just this safety boundary. I'll go ahead and extrude it back as a cut. And I'm going to say right now that the base of my container is going to be one inch tall from the base of it to the top of the lip. So I'll type in one inch. Now that I've got that developed, that's been defined, and I can go ahead and start designing my container. I'm going to keep this container as a fairly simple container. I'm going to come around and create a couple arcs around each one of them. I'm going to set that about 3 eighths of an inch from the corner, and 3 eighths of an inch from this corner, and I'll put a radius on, I think right now about an inch and a half will look good. I'm going to go ahead and recreate that all the way around the outside. Now that I've got that created, I've decided already that the majority of my container I'd like to cut with a 3 8 bit. I'm going to draw a circle on here with a 3 8 inch diameter. I'm going to try to think about how easy that's going to be to go around the outside. So if that tool wants to go all the way around the outside of my profile, I don't see any problems or any hangups that the tool is going to have trying to go around my container. Once I get inside, trying to draw whatever pocket that I'm going to have inside my container, each one of these corner areas may be a little bit tight. So I may want to think a little bit about what kind of shape I'm going to have in there, whether I'm going to go all the way to the outside with my pocket, if I'm just going to create a simple square pocket inside. And for right now, I'm going to go ahead and adjust some of these numbers so that I can widen out each one of these legs for my design. Because I made each one of these 0.375s or 3 8 parametric, Right now, if I drive this one dimension to a half an inch, it will adjust them all. And I can now see that I've got a little bit more room in here for the tool to move freely into that corner. And I think that's going to work well for me. So right now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and extrude the outside shape of my container. When I go to extrude it, all I really want to do is extrude each of these four little windows. Every once in a while I may have a hard time picking the profiles, and if I do, I may have to be more specific about how I'm defining each one of these profiles. Instead of extruding these as a cut a specific distance, I'm going to ask it to extrude two into the face that I developed for my one inch earlier. That's done the outside profile of my box. I'll now create a new sketch onto this face. I'm kind of trying to do an offset to create my inside pocket. So I'm going to bring this all the way in and I'm going to put on a dimension of a quarter of an inch. That's going to go all the way from my outside walls to the inside of my pocket. I'll do the exact same thing I did earlier. I'm going to create a 3 8 of inch tool. I'm going to try to take that tool around the part and see if there are any areas that's not going to be able to get into. 
I can see right now that my 3 8 of an inch tool is not going to be able to get all the way into that corner or all the way into each one of the corners since I have symmetry designed in my container. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and edit each one of these corners so they have a little bit more simple design the tool is going to be able to create. I know since the diameter of the tool that I'm going to try to use is 0.375, I want to make sure that each one of these corners that I've got my tool going into is at least 0.375, if not larger in the radius, to make sure that the tool has no conflicts with trying to go into those corners. So I've made each one of them equal, and I can go ahead and decide that I'm going to make this as a radius of 0.375 divided by 2. That's half of the diameter of the bit that I'm going to try to use. That's the smallest that I would like that to be able to be. If I want it to be larger, it can be larger, but I know right now the tool's not going to have any trouble going into that corner and trying to create that face. Make sure that any intersections that you have have been filleted to that size of your diameter or larger. I can now go ahead and extrude just the pocket down to the depth that I want. One inch is my entire base, and I want to make sure that I leave a floor inside my container. So I'm going to subtract a quarter of an inch from my one inch to make sure that I leave a quarter of an inch into the base and make that a cut. Now that I have that developed, the last thing I need to do is go ahead and create the lip. I'll create a sketch on this top face. I will offset the profile that I've developed. I'll go ahead and put a dimension right now of an eighth of an inch. That's how wide I want my lip to be. Now I know I should have an eighth of an inch all the way around, if not more. I'll finish sketch and I'll extrude that down to the final height of my lip. Which for this example, I'll use a quarter of an inch. For the most part, that has finished the base of my container. The only thing I might want to do now is put any fillets around the outside edge. I know that my tool doesn't have any hard times or any trouble trying to make any of these exterior edges, 90 degrees, less, whatever, my tool can go on around there. But for safety and smoothness of the box, I'm going to go ahead and knock off each one of these four major corners to try to smooth out the handling of the container. I want to do that before I go ahead and transfer the rest of that design onto the bottom to create the lid.